Okay, just a quick one. I went to the ladies and as I walked in, I heard this so clearly. Um, I heard, I have been young and now I'm old. And yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken. I have never seen his descendants begging bread. And I immediately just ran to the scripture, you know, got to my office and I ran to the scripture. And immediately, you know, my eyes of my eyes were open to understand what the scripture actually means. That David was proclaiming, he was confirming, you know, that yes, I have seen so many things under the sun. There's so many things that I've seen happen, so many circumstances, so many stories I've heard, so many things I myself have experienced. I have been young. I know what it is to be young. I know what it is to be old. Now, you can take what I've just said in one of two ways. One, you can say, you know what, I'm going to take this from a point of submission, submission to God's will. I know that I'm going through the most. I know that, you know, it's difficult, it's painful, I'm afraid, I'm nervous. I can't see how I'm going to get out of this. But I submit to the will of God. And by submitting to the will of God, I know and trust that at the end of the day, God will never forsake me because he never forsakes his children. You know, God will make a way out. Or you can take the flip side of that and say, God, your word says that you will never forsake me. Your word says your descendants can never beg for bread. Therefore, I claim it and I speak it over my life that as for me and my children, as for me and my family, you will not forsake us. Not just you will, but you are making a plan. I refuse to beg for bread. I refuse to struggle and suffer any longer. It is not my portion. I am the daughter of a king. I am the son of a king. Royalty is within my veins. Royalty is who I am. Royalty is the standard of my life. Royalty is the, the way I'm going to live because my father is king. My father is the creator of the heavens and the earth. What am I saying? I am saying either way, God will never forsake you. Whether it is in a position where you need to submit to the will of God or whether it is in a position where you need to stand up and claim what rightfully belongs to you. I love